Hi guys, I'm Mogu and you're watching Mogu and Friends. Today we're going to discuss about travel tips. So there's a lot of things to discuss about travel because you need to consider a lot of things. But first off, um, you need to consider where to go. So if you have something set in mind, then we can go past it. But then again, um, you need to consider all the other aspects of where you're going. So for example, um, where you want to go like for example you want to go to Hawaii right Hawaii then when you want to go to Hawaii so a lot of people are gonna tell you like oh of course it's the summer right but then again there's a lot of things to consider so I'm gonna give you like a step-by-step -step how to um, see if uh, if your travel uh, destination is gonna work out for you or vice versa okay so first it where you want to go so a uh, vague example like i said earlier hawaii is it is it gonna work out for you there are things you need to consider first is where you want to go which is hawaii when to go obviously they're gonna say oh it's best to go there in summer right but then again you know in summer um there's a lot of everything is gonna be like more expensive flight uh hotels and like obviously if you're gonna get your pto right like your vacation leave and there's a lot of people already like um get approved and there's a high chance that you're not gonna you're not gonna get in um and part of those is also uh, your outfit so like for example summer of course you're not gonna wear um a, a jacket for a summer right so uh, let's break it down to this simple things where to go so you're, if you don't have anything yet in mind, then you need to start researching. Like for example, me, um, I have things that are already set. I want to travel with the whole United States uh, and I already finished some of them. So they're like uh, crossed out in my map already. I actually have a map of the whole United States. So the things I consider for my travels are like um, when I when should I go like for example right now um I was considering going to New York when there's a snow because you know how movies are they tend to show New York always when it's snowing and I want to experience that so I'm planning to do uh, things to get to that point so my research is I checked out where to go when to go it's gonna be like summer i mean summer um winter uh weather it's gonna be that's the third one um it's gonna be weather obviously i, I need to prepare an outfit like uh, a, a thick jacket or like of course i'm not gonna wear shorts in new york in winter right so i need to at least get some gloves i need to get some boots or um like thick jacket and like really uh those technology technological shirts or like pants that are gonna make me warm right so again we're on, the, on the first agenda where to go when to go the weather and your outfit right obviously those are four things in one category next category budget this is where all everything is gonna be really different from person to person because obviously some people have more budget others have less but it doesn't mean that you can't travel if you have limited uh, budget so you just need to think of uh, think about it and like calculate it when you need to go so considering the fact that I want to go in New York in winter I don't know it's not it's not it's not really a straight shot if it is going to be higher or lower unlike hawaii if it is hawaii then obviously everything is going to go up in summer unlike new york it's kind of like eh high low maybe i don't know it depends so i need to do some more research about it but um so to the budget there are things you need to consider first of course is the airfare um you need to see if the airfare uh, um it's gonna work out for you uh, and like if not then is 
traveling via land is going to be working out for you because I know for, for a fact that it's more cheaper to travel um, by land than by airplane but then again your time is going to be somewhat limited too so that's part of your budget so airfare if it is not going to work out for you you need to and you really want to go then you need to take the other option which is um, tr uh, driving which is going to be more expensive but again I'm uh, not more expensive but I mean uh, it's going to be more stressful but then again you will get to your destination so that's like your, your second option um, hotel there's a lot of uh, things to consider in hotel um, but nowadays we have a lot of options so for the hotels if you really want to stick with hotels I would really um, suggest that you make an account for wherever hotel you're gonna use like for instance me um, we're just using Wyndham Wyndham is one of the biggest but cheapest um, groups like hotel groups and we have a lot of options in every state and it's cheap why am I choosing cheap hotels well obviously because you're just gonna sleep on it right um, you're not gonna travel to Hawaii or you're gonna travel to New York and you're gonna stay in your freaking hotel right you're just gonna sleep there for the night or how many nights right? for a fact that's really a fact and um, as long as there's no bed bugs there's no uh, it's decent enough it's not dangerous the location is a-okay or whatever then you're good to go because again you're just gonna spend there just the night or like we're probably gonna hop in and out of different um, hotels but that's that's what the hotel is so um, I would recommend to you that you need to um, open an account so that you can earn points so if you keep using them um, you're gonna get enough points for you to book a free hotel which is gonna be like really uh, it's gonna be good for you because you can use it for your next trip right and uh, some part of the hotels there's options like Airbnb Airbnb there's a lot of options in Airbnb and it's um, the price is lower than hotels uh, you just need to like make good research on where or like um, the owner of the house is if it is like really uh, a good fit for you because you have a lot of options in Airbnb and you will see also well, which is closer to the attractions that you want to go next uh, next is going to be transportation so if you're going to be using um, airfare uh, airplane to travel obviously when you land uh, your other option you need to get a car so there are some some states that you really don't need a car but most of the states you really need to use a car for you to go to the places that you want to go <coughs> like for instance um, because I did a little bit of research so I know so for instance New York if I'm gonna go to New York I don't need a car because the transportation in New York is better it's actually better when you're using their public transport because otherwise you're gonna be stuck in um, the traffic and uh, it's gonna be more expensive obviously compared to like pro public transport so those are the things that you need to um, consider and other other parts that you need to consider on the budget is the attractions of course for example if you're gonna go to New York you have like attractions that I already search like first off I want to go to the Times Square everybody want to go to the Times Square right but the get the, the good thing about Times Square is free so for the rest of the things that I need to go to I need to research how much is it and like what times am I gonna uh, what times are they open and you need to make reservations and all that and next up is gonna be food well it depends on how you want to spend or how much your budget is I can't tell you an exact amount of money to put on the food 
because if you're really strict on your budget then i would really recommend um if you're doing an airbnb i would re really recommend it something uh to buy in a grocery store so you cook it yourself or um like get uh get some things that are like for a bulk and you can eat it uh, step by step like for example sandwich it's easy to prepare you just need to buy something in the meat and then you put it in a refrigerator and then you can reuse it and just prepare it so that you have food um, every day so that's one of the options but if you're if you're also okay with a little bit with the budget for food then you can go to restaurants and um, there are plenty of restaurants options but then again it really depends on your budget so you need to calculate you can't just travel without calculating how much you can spend or else you're not gonna travel anymore all right so stay tuned for part two and I will talk to you about um, Boston <laughs>